Hi, I'm Richard. Welcome to our tutorial on using the Global Styles feature in PageFly. This feature is designed to save you time and effort by letting you create predefined styles for elements across your entire store. Firstly, to access Global Style, go to the Extra Functions in PageFly dashboard. Click on Global Styles here. Besides that, you can access Global Style from Page Editor. Click on the Any Element that Global Styles supports. I will click on a heading, for example, head to Styling tab below Global Style, click on Edit Global Style. Now, it's time to configure Global Style. Global Style is divided in Properties and Elements. Properties includes Color Schemes and Typography Settings. Regarding the Elements, this will let you define styles for headings, text, buttons, media, icons, and dividers. You can also rename these styles for easier identification in the editor. Now let's dive into the properties. Color Scheme allows you to harmonize your store's colors effortlessly. It includes colors of the background, text, button background, button text, border, shadow, and three user-defined colors in a section. Please note that you cannot modify the PageFly presets as it is the theme default style. After all configuration is done, select Publish to use the color schemes. With typography, you will have the chance to define your store's font choices with ease. You can customize six predefined fonts and their styles excluding color, then use them when building your pages later on. Typography 1 is the default setting, and its configurations cannot be modified. To customize the font family, choose each type and navigate to the Styling tab. Then select the font family and adjust any other styling settings as necessary. Don't forget to publish to use that font on Page Editor. Next we have elements, including headings, body text, buttons, media, icon, and divider. Clicking on heading, you'll see the default style right at the top, which is a style that cannot be edited. You have six predefined styles for heading, so customize the styling of each heading. Please select each type and navigate to the Styling tab to make the desired configurations. Remember to publish to save the changes and use them on the page editor. You'll find a similar process for body text, button, media, and icon. Dividers follow a similar process, but this element only has three predefined styles that you can customize. It's time to apply global style in Page Editor. On Page Editor, I will add a heading and a button. Click on the section that contained the heading, head to Styling tab under the Color Scheme, choose the color scheme that I set before. As you can see, the section text and button have automatically been updated with the style that I previously set in Global Styles. Even though the styles of elements have been based on the settings in the color scheme within Global Styles, you still have the option to directly customize the style on the page editor if desired. However, any changes made in Global Styles will override them. For better visualization, let me illustrate with a use case where I have multiple headings, buttons, or icons on a page and want to ensure they all have the same style for consistency. Instead of manually adding style, or copying styles for each section or element, now with just one click, 
Selecting the color scheme in the styling tab for sections or global style for elements, everything becomes automated, saving time and ensuring efficiency. This is the end of the tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to get more videos. Our friendly and knowledgeable team is available via live chat 24-7 to assist you with any issues. Thank you for watching.